TB spine problem is what has brought the 29-year-old Muira Bada from Bloemfontein to the Roadmap Ministry. She stands holding a medical report that serves as proof of this diagnosis. But she has come to the Roadmap Ministry, the arena of liberty, believing that where man fails, Holy Spirit fails, and God prevails over all sicknesses and diseases. Let us hear more from her and her, and her experience with this TB of the spine. The problems that have brought me to the ministry church today is that uh, a, year, uh, a year and a half ago, they did that diagnose me with TB spine. Up until they, uh, I, I slept in hospital for two now, for one and a half months. They diagnosed me on uh, on with TV spine. When by the time I came back, they said I must stay on the pearl. But up until the the pearl didn't didn't affect my body. It affect my body totally. How did this TB of the spine start? It started only with a pain, and after that, it. It started to get worse and worse and worse up until I couldn't move. I couldn't uh, uh, use my legs anymore and my hands. How has this TB of the spine affected your career? It affected my whole life, my career, my life at home. The, my job title that I'm doing, I'm standing most of the time on my feet. And right now I can't, I, I can't do the job anymore. Even at home I have to sleep. I have to be in bed the whole time. I can't walk. Everything is swelling on my body. My my joints are most of the time in pain. I mo every day of my life I am in pain. What have the medical doctors said to you or given you regarding this problem of the TB of the spine? What the doctor have told me, he told me that he has to cut it. That that's the reason why he have he has done three operations on my body. So I. So I went through with the operations, thinking that after that, everything will be fine up until they put me on the pill. And by the time the doctor put me on the pill, on the TV pill, everything changed. The, the pain started to get worse up until I, 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 I stopped drinking the TV pill. Then I didn't take it anymore. Because every time when I go back to, to the same doctor, they will tell me that I must just go on with the pill. And I told them that I can't, because if I keep on drinking this pill, I can't move. It's like I'm trapped in my, in my own body. So I stopped taking the treatment. So bringing your problems to Jesus Christ, what do you believe that he will do for you? I believe that I will be healed and I, will be belie and I, believe, and I also believe that I will be the perfect mother that my children know that I was, I will go back to work and work for them again, and we will have the life that we used to have. We believe and trust that he who healed many by the mere touching of the edge of his cloak is the same Jesus that walks in our midst, and he will make you well again in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Tell me, say the grace is sufficient. The grace is Use your, Use your faith to put a demand. Put a demand. Tell me, say the grace is sufficient. Use your faith to put a demand. People of God, as I said earlier, Jesus has purchased redemption, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessing at the price of his great suffering.
Come. Come. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> huh? What is happening? I feel no by it wrong in my cup. They can never what? I feel no by it wrong in my cup. What is happening here? What is happening here? What is happening here? I had three operations in I had three operations in October. I had one behind my back, one at my neck. And one, and one in front. Are you listening? She had three operations. So it means she went three times. Doctor cannot solve the problem. You come to God. Are you listening? Mm, so I assure you, Jesus will heal you today. Yes. You Thank feel you. healed. This TV of the spine. I say the voice of weeping shall not be heard anymore in our lives. Yes. Stand up, stand up straight. Could you do this before? No. Huh? No. You couldn't do it. Now something is making you to do it. She's crying. She's crying. She's crying. She couldn't do this even to sit. For her to stand was pain, not to bend. If she's sitting down to stand up, she will feel pain. Now she's standing and bending. Something is forcing her to bend down. So you are healed. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Welcome to the Roadmap Ministries. Please tell us your name, your age, and where you're from. My name is Moira Shirley, but I'm from Bloemfontein, and I'm 29 years old. Could you kindly share with us your experience during the prayer line? How were you feeling? It was awesome. Up until now, I can't, I can't begin out to tell how, how do I feel. By the time the pastor touched me, I felt that they, they became life in my body. Even in my bones, in my back, by the time it touches my back, I could have moved up until now. I can still move. I can bang any side I want. And before, I couldn't do it. I was, pain. I was in pain of most of my, of my life for those two years. But ever since I have came to the ministry and in the prayer today, I could have sat the whole day on that chair. And there was no, there was no pain. Do you mean to say that the pain that you used to feel before you came to prayer line is now gone and now you can bend and you couldn't do that before? Yes, I couldn't do it before. The way my body was in pain. Could you please tell us why are you crying right now? You know, it's still unbelievable. Because a year, a year ago the doctor told me that I would be paralyzed. I'm not crying because... I'm healed today. I'm crying of the pain. The pain was too much all of my life for those two years. And right now, it's just left. Even in my arms, I can, I can just move. And right now, I know that my children will be the happiest babies if I go home. And what are your words of thanksgiving to God for this mighty healing in your life? I will never turn back. And I love him and I adore him with my life. We thank God Almighty for your healing and we believe and trust that the Lord Jesus Christ will help you maintain this mighty healing in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>